In the previous episode, we got the EVO running and moving on its own power, but then we ran into a couple issues with oil leaks and the oil cooler is in the way of the downpipe. So join me as we go through today's crazy adventure with the Subaru entering the mix as the twist of the century. <laughs> After about six months, or even longer than that, nobody's really keeping track, we finally do a much needed oil change on the Silver Evo 8. It's been leaking from the oil pan drain bolt for the longest time, and we tackle that issue by putting in a new washer. It turns out the old washer wasn't even the right one, and it was much larger than it should have been. No wonder the oil was leaking so profusely while I was just parked there. And if you're watching this, I am so sorry, neighbors. Well, here we go. I'm gonna go ahead and take this thing over there to John's house real quick. Well, it's official. I'm leaving the light side and going over the dark side, I guess. This thing's kind of nice. I ain't never had something this this new. It is the fully loaded for the year, so. Yeah. It's got the Harman Kardon too. Now that we've picked up the Subaru and dropped off the Evo, it's time to do a light interior detail. There was a dog that frequently took rides in this car, so there was a ton of dog hair everywhere. Couple that with a toddler, and you've got yourself a big mess to take care of. Luckily, Thomas had his vacuum sitting around the garage, but I found that it wasn't powerful enough after a little bit. I grabbed a rag and a spray bottle full of water, and many of the scuffs on the door panels and other parts came off with relative ease. After that, I looked for a better vacuum solution and settled on our Dyson from inside the house. It did a really great job, and now the car is a little bit cleaner than it used to be. Here we are. Full leather interior, we've got the six speed manual transmission, CarPlay with the super huge double DIN plus sized head unit, and then full volume, cruise controls, all on the steering wheel. Just things that I've never had in a car before, I now have, and I think this is why I enjoy driving this car so much. I think any modern car that's a manual would actually do me just fine, so even like an Evo 10 or something like that. <clears throat> However, I haven't found a clean title Evo 10 at this price point. So kind of just waiting. The one thing I wanted to tackle this morning, this is not quite on correctly. And it's because of the little um, the Allen keys here. So we're going to loosen this one right here. There's three of them total, and then we're gonna screw this all back in so that it stays properly, and then that'll be that. The carbon e-brake handle was very easy to reposition and tighten, and it was just something I neglected for the first few days of owning the car. However, it got annoying to hear it make a noise and move around, so this was a must. I got the package in the mail right afterwards, and it was the new Broadway mirror I bought on Amazon. I accidentally sold my other one with the Genesis, and I'm a big fan of these mirrors. However, the WRX is a newer car with a factory mirror that is pretty large, so it sat a little funky and I ultimately took it off. We'll hold on to it for the next car. I dailyed the Genesis for like two months and it was fun. It definitely like it boosted car and everything, but honestly, I'm a big fan of having a four door sedan. You know what I'm saying? Like still good trunk space. It's a big car. Like the interior is pretty, pretty solid there. Um, just very spacious. I feel very comfortable in here and I'm sure with my six foot two brother and all of my six foot friends. Everybody's six foot bro. They all taller than me but yeah. But give it a little bit of a detail. It's not that great because my vacuum cleaner is not very good. We don't have an actual shot vac. I'm gonna go pick up Ren real quick and then head back to the house. I just like driving it. Honestly, I feel very comfortable in it. I mean, it is a Subaru. It does have a little bit of a belt squeal or a whine. So we're thinking um, just grabbing a new one and 
There she is. I'm an, I'm an anomaly. I turned into a rap ironically. Look at that beamer, dude. That thing's fucking sick. Let's see if we can give him a nice little thumbs up there, buddy. Come on, Scoops. Move, move, scoot your boots. Oh no. In the meantime, let's take a look at this. Boy. Hell yeah. Now, I know a lot of you may be disappointed in me because Evo Mitsubishi versus Subaru rivalry definitely does exist, but it's okay. This is temporary. So Zan's not here right now, but Zan Subaru was there. Dakota Subaru was there. We got that one, which is Thomas's Subaru, and now mine. So everybody in the household has a Subaru now, which is crazy. We also have the Evo there, the Evo behind this door. So plenty of Subaru and Mitsubishi rivalry going on, but it seems like the Subarus have won for now. I know, I know, getting a lot of hate for this probably, but <clears throat> she's on jack stands, she's not. So really, what are you gonna do? And obviously this is more my fault and also STM didn't ship my parts out until just now. So I actually do have the parts for it. This are sitting right there. And the only thing that I need to do is install it. I haven't even actually properly unboxed this yet. So here's the lines, the fittings. Basically comes with all of these things here. Banjo bolt fitting, um, crush washers, all of that. Brand new fitting here and adapter right there. So hopefully when we install this, all of these things will go on very smoothly. There's a brand new filter in here too. So should be good on that front. Car sitting pretty as always. Can't wait to get that thing done. We're hoping by the time we get to Mount Rainier, the clouds have kind of burned off a little bit more. It looks like it's about to be a nice day. All right, camera's out, let's do it. pick up Marissa and uh, Ryan here. They're just right around the corner. Andrew and I have been having a hell of a time with the crazy bright lighting right now. It's 2.03 p.m. Harshest light of the day. Still making it happen, making it work, but it's a good time so far. All those cars, oh dude, I'm gonna have to get some footage from Andrew because uh, Ryan did a little drifty boy. A couple of them when we were doing that, so there we go. There they are. Your Uber is here. Right on.
close till I get up. Time is barely on our side. I don't want to waste what's left. The storms we chase are leading up. 